Hello and welcome to this launch turn saving fuel thing. The boffins at the KRC have decided that they want to find out what's the best way to turn because they've noticed that you guys are very terrible at turning. But probably not. <laughs> I'm the, probably the worst one at turning, but that's why I use Mechcheb. So what we've got here, we have the ascent guidance of Mechcheb, and we want to find out what is the best turn. Do you start turning early and faster, or do you turn slowly? Normally they say turn straight away from when you launch it from the launch pad but you have to make sure of a couple of things when you don't flip over and to uh, you get in space <laughs> anyway so here we have the turn angle and this is what I'm going to be adjusting I can see on a 31% you start turning a lot quicker earlier and at 83% you turn you go further up and then turn later now the theory is that when you launch up in space You'll want to turn earlier, but you want to get high enough to get through the thinner part of the atmosphere. So we're going to start this at 50%. Let's launch it. Let's do a quick test. I'm going to show you the full ascent so you can show, see how we are test this. And if you notice on the ascent guidance, we've got limit Q to 2000 PA on and we've got limit AOA in other words the turn rate to five degrees now if it goes over five degrees then that will come up and limit it to five degrees turn uh, I hope you understand that I'm not gonna explain that much more as you can see that the turn AOA is a uh, limited and also the dynamic pressure fade out which is something totally different that means when the atmosphere becomes thinner it then allows you to turn quicker okay so the percent profile seems pretty good we have 1810 meters per second left we're going to get ourselves into a 100 kilometer circular orbit using mechchip and then we're going to determine we're going to use this as our benchmark now there i want to do this test again don't worry i'll be chopping up the video so that you can make sure that we have enough time to do all the various tests that we need to do Okay, and here we are, coming to the end of the burr. 50% turn equals 1,118 meters per second remaining. We are doing actual science. The difference between messing around and doing actual science is writing the results down. Okay, so this time I'm going to do exactly the same turn, but I don't know if you noticed, I put limit cube off. I'm still at 50% turn, all the other parameters are the same, even the limit AOA, the turn rate. And what we've got left with is... 1170 meters per second basically limiting q reduces the thrust when you reach that aerodynamic pressure on the rocket i hope that i understand that anyway the next test let's do 40 percent turn with limit q off again and let's go okay so i'm going to be doing these tests quickly all right at 40 percent we're at 1151 a little less than 50 percent turn at 60% turn, 1,114, it's a lot less. At 30%, 950 meters per second. And then we have 35%, 1,110 meters per second. So it's looking like 50% turn is the highest, the maximum that we can get from these launches. So if you're wondering what I'm doing by here, I decided I have to try a manual launch. See how good I am. Okay, 1,136 meters per second. That's not bad. But what happens if we do medium-sized rockets? And then I think we go on to large-sized rockets as well. Of course, we have to go the full mile. Um, 400 kilo miles, kilometers. <laughs> okay, it's a terrible joke. Okay, so I'm keeping limit Q off. We've still got limit AOA, the turn rate. We'll get into that a bit further on. I don't think it matters so much with small rockets, but it will for larger rockets. And with a 40% turn, we have 1,203 meters per second. Um, for 60% turn. Man, this is the terrible delta D ever. You end up with zero. What the hell are you doing, Jebediah? <laughs> Uh, well, I have to include the fails, don't I? Okay, let's try this again. 60% turn rate. In other words, 60% means we are turn going up higher and then turning later. So, 1,035. Now, let's try 35%. 
Uh, you probably noticed that I'm not doing these in proper order, but I'm actually putting them as I filmed them. 35% is 1,205 meters per second. And now 30%, just to make sure. 1,280 meters per second remaining. And lastly, now oh, this is where I'm showing you. If I've got limit AOA on, you can see that we're not following the ascent path properly. Now it won't when you're coasting up to out of the atmosphere because you're already traveling in that, that direction. But what you want is that line to hug the curve. So here we are, uh, we're at 35%, hugging the curve. And you can see that with limited AOA off, it turns a lot quicker, as you can see on the video. And it follows the line better until we have to coast up to out to the atmosphere. And basically it's not run uh, turning because the engine's not running. All right, 35% limit Q off, AOA limit off as well, 1,376 meters per second. That is quite a bit of difference. That's about 170 meters per second extra delta V after launching up. Yeah, I know you might seem a bit niggly amount, but you have to remember you could use that to alter your orbit to get in the right position. Anyway, now I've got limit Q on and we set it at the default 20,000 PA, which is the aerodynamic pressure on the front of the rocket. That's what I think it is anyway. I could be wrong, tell me if I am. Okay, so we have 1,263. Now at 25,000, we have 1,358 meters per second. Okay, so now at 30,000 meters per second, 1,402. And 35,000, I believe this is the best result we ever have, 1,406 meters per second. That's almost 300 meters per second than the worst that we had. All right, now for the piece de resistance, the large rockets. Now you can see I've got limit AOA to five degrees. That's because the rockets were flipping out, so that we have to stick with that. But we got the limit Q to 35,000, and we have the ascent profile of 35%. That gives us 377 meters per second remaining. Now here, all for the, the large rockets, we're gonna change the turn shape. So we got 50% turn by here. And the reason for that is I've worked out that limit queue at 35,000 and, well, limit AOA, we need that on anyway, is the most efficient for launching. And this gives us 271 meters per second, a 50% turn. Okay, 30% turn, 393, that's a little better. I think it has to be said by here that, although I'm just changing the angles, these rockets are sort of standard shape with large, huge boosters like the Falcon Heavy, I suppose, but with four of them instead of two. But you have to remember some rockets are huge. If they got a larger cross-section area, then they probably have more aerodynamic drag. So then that might mean that you're, you're gonna have to use different settings. So this isn't hard science, but it tells you for a standard rocket shape, I suppose. Okay, we're at 25% turn, and we have 480 meters, 8 meters per second. That's a lot better, so this is contrary to what I believe, that you need to go up higher and then turn over in a thinner part of the atmosphere. Okay, here I'm going to do a manual turn, obviously. I'm going to leave the ascent guidance up so you can see my ascent profile there in the bottom left corner. But yeah, talking about the ascent profile, you have to make sure that... My thoughts were that you have to go high, turn in slowly, obviously, to get your orbit. But you have to get higher quicker, so you're through the thinner parts of the atmosphere, so you can go sideways faster. But it looks like it's contrary to belief. It, seems that to me that the gravitational pull of curbing plays a much more pivotal role in your gravity turns. Now you have the thing as the all birth effect, I'm not sure that comes into play when you're getting into orbit, it probably does at some point, but you want to reduce the amount of gravitational drag on your rocket more than aerodynamic drag, it seems, at least on larger rockets. With smaller rockets, it seems that you can get away with just doing a 50% turn. So if, let me, guys, let me know in the comments below what your experiences are with getting into orbit, whether you do it manually or using MechChip or using any other program, perhaps even using your own Kerbal operating system script, which would be cool.
So the manual two turn with Q at 35,000 and ignore the AOA limit because it didn't have any. We had 2066. The second try was 280 meters, sink, meters per second. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this episode. Tell me for more science things. Click on other videos and uh, I'll see you next time. Trust me, I'm a scientific engineer and Welsh. <laughs>